All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. We just had a quick little commercial break. And a uh, big thanks to all the people that donated. We've officially uh, reached our goal. I think we, we really... We led the way. We led the way. We led the way. Sometimes you got, that's what you got to do, sometimes. You just, sometimes people just need, need that person to walk out in front of them and take all of the, all of the fire. Take the flack up front. Uh, and if you guys don't know who we are, I mean, you probably know who we are by now. Uh, we are Lag TV. You can go check us out on YouTube.com slash Life's a Glitch TV. And you can follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash Lag TV. Very, very simple. Go check us out there. Uh, we do When She's Fails, all kinds of commentaries. We cast your guys' games, not necessarily the pros that we're casting today. But we do this for charity. Yes. Straight up. Yes. Because charity is awesome. So we reached our goal. Yep. Want to start a new goal? So a new goal. Two grand. New goal. Two grand. Two grand. If we get two grand, just like last time, except we'll reverse it, I will allow Mr. Maximus Black to flick me in the nipples. I and we'll do that just for I you. I am down to flick you in the nipples. Because I got last to do it to him last time. my nipples. And it was pretty, I, it was a good flick. It was a good flick. I, uh, I, I, I might, uh, might go so far to say is it was ground shaking. It's ground shaking. So prepare yourselves for that. We hit that $2,000 mark. We've got a best of seven to do so, and I've got great faith in you guys. We're getting this set up right now. This is going to be Ostagy versus Masa in Woo. the finals. Woo. This is a ZVT, Mr. Maximus Black. Yes, awesome. A ZVT. I'm excited for it. This is actually one of my favorite matchups to watch, a ZVT. It is usually very entertaining to it's watch fun. because the Terran has to be very active in order to be successful, more so than in most matchups as a Terran. I'm just happy it's not another mirror matchup. That's all I guess to say. Absolutely. Not that I don't enjoy it, but it does get kind of uh, monotonous after a while. Absolutely. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is game one of the finals. Mm. Um, noise? Mr. Max was black. Yeah. Hit me up with the sound of leading the way and hitting our goal within, like, 45 seconds. Bows. Yeah. That it was. That it was. Starting down here in the bottom left position, we have Osto G. We just casted three games. He swept the floor yep. with Hendralisk. Yep. And he's one hell of a Zerg. Absolutely. And he made him look like he's still one hell of a Zerg. Yes. Okay. And starting up here in the bottom <laughs> right position, <laughs> we have Masa. Yes. Roots Masa. Um, I don't know a whole lot uh, about this guy. I I've seen him play before, but I, I just don't I don't follow him. Nope. I to be honest, I don't really follow many people in the pro scene. Nope. Just because I'm so busy myself. But uh, I haven't heard a whole lot of Masa. I haven't seen Surprisingly, him. Surprisingly, I've heard enough to know that he's actually a pretty darn good player. Uh, he's uh, I I've I've heard enough about him to actually know his name, which tells you if I know about you, mm -hmm. you've done at least something. <laughs> That's very you've true. done something. That's, That's a good mark. True. If Nova Starcraft has heard about you, then you've done something important. I think, at some I think point what I'm trying life. to say is I don't know if he has any tournament results. I don't know. No, if I understand he's what you in, mean. You know what I mean? I think I understand I think what you mean. Pretty much everybody that's watching the stream has heard of him yes. and Ostoji, but. Has he really done anything significant? I'm not 100% sure. Maybe somebody in the chat will eventually say it. But we're going to find out if he's going to take this tournament here in the best of seven against Ostagi, who is absolutely on fire. And when you have that momentum going, it's really, really tough to, uh, to break it down. Looks like we're going to start off with a command first for Masa. And uh, once again, just opening up hatch first. So not a whole lot happening right now. Uh, big shout outs to uh, Bell Lions Fiber Op for once again hosting this tournament and allowing us to uh, use their wicked awesome internet. So if you're from yes. Atlantic Canada, get that. Get on that tip. Get that now. If you're somewhere else, you're doing it wrong. Totally. Unless, of course, you're in like the middle of nowhere, at which point you probably don't have access to it, but that's okay. Just order it anyway. Even order it anyway. Even if you can't use it, just order it just to have sure, it. Just to have it. Just to say that you have it. Yeah. I even mean, though it's, you're a, not it's, a, it's a status it. thing, right? It's yeah, like, yeah, absolutely. It, it's a total status thing. It's like walking around the girls with the with their little coach purses, and they're like, hey, look at me. I have a $450 coach purse. But it's not real. Just like you having the service, but not actually being able to use it. But you still have that status. Thing. But you still have the status. Absolutely. That's how you have to roll these days, right? Yeah. You uh, got to keep up my, with the Joneses. My fiance. Well, we went to, we just got back from Toronto. Yes. And we went to Tiffany's, the jewelry store. Really? That was <laughs> great. <laughs> uh, never going back in there again. Uh, no. Because once you go into Tiffany's, uh, girls turn into um, blood-sucking vampires that only want jewelry. 
You know, you know what, you know what I know. I think of every time I think of Tiffany's. What? The Antiques Roadshow. Oh God. Because every time Tiffany's comes up, then you just say, "All right, well, this is it. This is the show. If it's real." G -G. I saw one just recently. It was Tiffany. It was maybe a foot tall piece of glass. You know, they used to do a lot of glass work or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, it was appraised for a uh, hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, it's 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 not cheap. Uh, she was gonna buy a necklace. The cheapest it was. The cheap the cheapest one was two hundred and twenty bucks. And I mean that is like bottom of the barrel. That's that's just like a little pendant that just says Tiffany and Co on it. That's I was it. gonna say that's what that's it was. all that's yeah, all it says. Nothing special. No diamonds. No gold. No yeah. nothing. Just Tiffany and Co. Yeah. Anyway, it's probably made of like tin. Um, let's see here. Speaking of Tiffany and Co, we have a rich masa right now. We're gonna go ahead and grab a. Uh, well, the second orbital is down. Mules are down as well. Uh, it actually looks like Ostoji is, is keeping up in the minerals, and we're just starting to have a little wall going on here. Gonna get rid of those plates. Nobody likes plates. No. Nobody likes plates. Nobody likes to clean them. That's why you have to get the grunts to do the work. Work, work. What? Well, ooh. That was not bad. Thanks. That was not bad. Thanks. That was not bad. Uh, do you think that, that they're ever going to make Warcraft 4? I think we're going to see it. Not anytime soon, but I think uh, they're, they're, we're, we're going to see it. Uh, we're going to see a little run by here. Ling's getting us full surround on that, uh, wow. on that bunker. That Why thing, couldn't I say that? It's a building that <laughs> houses units that you can shoot out of. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Manages to get in, but there are a couple Hellions trying to use the SEVs to block the ramp, but it just did not happen. Trying to see what he can do, and I think he's going to be stuck in here. Oh, more links oh, wow. get inside, and okay. this is actually going to be bad news bears here for Masa. He's going to be very careful with the positioning. He's got to keep the uh, SCVs behind those Hellions to make sure that they can't actually get some sort of surrender. There's now four Hellions there, and he's just going to stop. This is where he stops and fries. Stop, pop, and barbecue. Uh, and can you smell what Masa is cooking? I can. Because it's Zerglings. Wow. And I they can. don't sound or smell very delicious. But who knows? That was uh, this is the future. Who knows? Who knows what people are into? I can't really say I agree with what Ostoji did there. I mean, those Lings um, did a lot of damage just in the fact that he had to pull a lot. Uh, he got only three SCVs. The Hellions are, are obviously bad news bears for the Lings, but I think he could have done a little bit more. Even if he even if he had ran out of the space and gotten rid of these two supply depots, I think that would have been in itself. Uh, a lot better, a much better trade. Uh, he got rid of a bunker and a couple of Marines, but I feel like he didn't use those links to the fullest potential. Yeah, no, I, I would agree. And I mean, even like I've, like I've said before, with my narrow understanding of this game, when it comes to Terran, getting rid of add-ons and things like that is more important than trying to get rid of SCVs. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, the mules are just going to, you He's know, gonna make up for, for, every, yeah. for every SCV that falls, a, a, a mule will be dropped. Yep. And at the end of the day, he's probably going to end up making more money <laughs> with the mules than he would have otherwise. So... Uh, definitely could have been better, but hey, it was an it was a nice little aggressive poke, and he did get at least something out of it. For now, that also means Masa is fully walled up the front as he wants to continue to be a little safer. And he also has now out on the field six count them one through six uh, Hellions, which we'll have to be careful as immediately two queens out back on the field. Oof, look at this, we got a bunch of banglings being Ooh. morphed in here for Ostoji. Uh, unfortunately, this is going to be completely walled off, and yep. unless he's willing to sacrifice, you know, six or seven banelings to bust through here, uh, I don't think he's going to do really anything. And if these Hellions are there as well, he's really not going to do anything with this. So he really needs to watch uh, what he does. But we do have reinforcement roaches coming uh, as well. So this is actually starting to turn into a very scary attack uh, for Ostagi to Amasa's base. And Moss is going to find himself in a really sticky situation here. And there's the Bailings busting up that wall. Still has a few of them oh, left. The no, SCVs may go down here. No, gets, a, gets a few of them. Sweet lord! But uh, a lot of damage is about to be done here to Masa's base. And he's immediately going to bypass the natural and go right up into the main. We have one Banshee out. The Hellions are not going to be able to do anything against these Roaches. And I think it's going to be free reign for these. But he's got to make sure he does not get surrounded by all these SCVs. And that's really... I don't... Once again, he's... I don't think he's going to use these roaches to the best of their ability. There's a Marauder out. Uh, he's going to be able to... Oh, but there's some links coming in. More links coming in this way. He's going to be able to hold, but how much damage is he really going to do with this? Well, he's gotten rid of a heck of a lot of SCVs, and, uh, you know, it, you know that, there's a lot of workers that have gone down. Yeah. I mean, even, even if it is best to get rid of the production facilities for the Terran, sometimes 
it yeah. just doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's just going to be crippling. And yeah. this has got to the point now where Massa has got his back to the wall and it's going to take some sort of miracle. But I think he's just going to get overrun. This is one of those situations where yeah. he might very well just keep sending in Zerglings. This could be GG. This yeah. is GG. There's too many. There this it is. is GG. There it wow. Is. Send I didn't Zerglings. see that many SCVs go down there. Well, they well, they were all bunched up in that one clump. They didn't go anywhere. He was banking on the help from the uh, the Hellion and the Hellions and the help from the uh, the Banshee there to actually accomplish the defense. Unfortunately, what he did not account for was what so many Zergs do when they uh, are very confident they're going to win, and that's the infinite stream of Zerglings. Yeah, you know that as soon as you lose a certain amount of units. Yeah, he smelled blood. And he you, you have to yeah. you have to remember that that usually means a wave of Zerglings, and by a wave I mean like six. Yep. are on the way to help clean up and try and force that GG, which is exactly what we saw right there from most of G. I really like the fact that he just went past the natural and went immediately into the base. Uh -huh. Unfortunately, Masa didn't have that full wall off at his main. There was like a supply depot that was just never placed there, so it was just free access for him to go into the base. I was a bit scared for OCG for a second because those SCVs could have gotten a really good surround, but he just didn't have enough Marauders and stuff. I knew it was going to get cleaned up, but like you said, he went in there with the extra bit of Lings, and that was it. It was just too much for him to handle. There was just too much damage, and even if he survived that, at 40 SCVs gone, how do you come back? I know mules are good units, they're not but they're good. not that good. No. And especially since uh, no. uh, OCG took no damage that game, he was way ahead. Even if that game didn't end there, it was going to end... Couple down the later. road yeah absolutely so that was it it looks like we're gonna have maybe a quick break yeah i think so yes okay magic mike is telling me yes so ladies and gentlemen welcome once more to the bell lion fiber op gaming league summer cup brought to you by of course bell lion fiber op amongst other things such as the wonderful brothers and sisters at the uh frag for charity studios and our prizing sponsor cooler master uh, which we will be giving stuff away here pretty soon. A couple of Amazon gift cards, a couple of headsets for those of you who have been donating, which, by the way, after you come back from the break, we're going to be doing a check-in on that goal. Buzz. We'll see you guys soon.